You want the cheapest iPad, but one that is actually usable. In the used market today, you can find the 2018 sixth generation iPad for as little as $100. For $100, you get an iPad that can be updated to the latest iPad OS 17 and runs all the modern apps. Links on where you can find this gem of an iPad are in the description below. The 2018 6th generation iPad is part of the entry-level iPad liner. It is meant for normal everyday use. Let's start with the look and feel. Given that the 2018 6th generation iPad was introduced four years ago, it has the outdated large bezel design with a home button. The 2018 model came in three colors, silver, gold, and space gray. It weighs 1.03 pounds, while the 2021 weighs 1.05 pounds. It comes with the dimensions 9.4 by 6.6 by 0.29 inches. As far as connections are concerned, both the 10th and the 6th generation iPads do not have a magnetic connector. As such, they don't support the second generation Apple Pencil. However, they both have support for the first generation Apple Pencil. The 6th generation still relies on the lightning port. Another compromise is that it supports AirPlay, but only up to 1080p. If you choose the 6th generation iPad, due to its up-to-date software and low price, be ready to give up on 4K AirPlay, USB-C, and proper Apple Pencil support. As far as screen quality is concerned, the screen of the 6th Gen iPad is at par with the 2022 iPad. They both have 264 pixels per inch and are both capable of a maximum brightness of 500 nits. Due to its thicker bezels, the 6th generation has a smaller screen by 1.5 inches. The screen in this 6th gen iPad is just as good as in modern iPads. You will enjoy using it. The front camera in the 2018 6th gen iPad is a joke. The 1.2 megapixel front camera is only capable of shooting 720 pixel videos. The rear camera is at least better. The iPad comes with an 8 megapixel rear camera. The rear camera is usable. The front camera though is a deal breaker if you intend to use it in any serious capacity. The RAM and the memory is not as bad as the front camera. While the 10th generation iPad is available in 64GB or 256GB memory options, the 6th generation iPad is available in 32GB and 128GB options. The 32GB version is quite limiting and fills up easily. Do your best to get the 128GB version. The latest 10th generation has 4 gigabytes of RAM. On the other hand, the 6th generation has only 3 gigabytes of RAM. As usual, iPadOS does a good job of making the RAM difference irrelevant. As far as performance is concerned, the 6th generation iPad is 25% slower than the 10th generation iPad. A10 chip in the 9th generation iPad has a 2.34 gigahertz clock speed. In day-to-day -day use, the performance difference is insignificant. Both iPads are meant for light to mid-range use. The 2018 iPad has a larger battery. The 10th gen iPad has a 28.6 watt hour battery, while the 6th gen has a 32.4 watt hour battery. Despite the battery size difference, both models have a battery life of between 9 to 10 hours. However, be careful. The battery life of used devices varies wildly depending on battery health. To achieve a full day of use, aim to purchase a device with a replaced battery or a battery health of at least 80%. The trick to buying a device with a good battery life is buying from a reputable used device reseller. In the description below, we have provided links to the most reputable online resellers. When it comes to software support, both iPads support the latest iPad OS. 6th generation iPad supports all of Apple's continuity features apart from those that require a high quality front camera. It therefore does not support using the iPad's camera with the continuity feature. Currently, the 6th generation iPad can run any app that's available on the Apple Store. One problem, later in the year, this iPad is not expected to support iPadOS 18. If you want a current up-to-date iPad, that will receive the next generation iPad OS, the cheapest iPad you can get is the 2028th generation iPad starting from $177. As far as audio is concerned, both iPads have stereo speakers. 
The sixth generation has a headphone jack, while the tenth generation does not. If you want a better speaker system, iPads in the iPad Pro lineup are the only ones with four speakers. Let's face it, one of the main reasons why you're considering a used product is you want to save money. The current price of a used 2018 sixth generation iPad is between $100 and $259. On the other hand, the price of a brand new 2022 10th generation iPad starts from $449. By buying a used 6th generation iPad, you stand to save a whopping 76%. For your convenience, in the description below, we have included links to where you can buy the iPad under review cheaply. Should you get the 6th generation iPad in 2024? The answer is no. Sure. As of April 2023, if you want the cheapest iPad that supports the current iPad OS, the 6th generation iPad is the answer. However, given the iPad will not be supported by the next iPad OS, future proof your purchase by instead getting the 8th generation iPad for $77 more at $177. For a more in-depth discussion of the iPads discussed in this section, Go to either our hyper playlist or check the description below for a link to the review. If you're still confused about what used iPad to purchase, start by watching our video, The Ultimate Guide to Buying a Used iPad in 2024. This channel is dedicated to helping you find the best used product that is good value for your money. To ensure you keep receiving fantastic recommendations on the best used products for your scenario, subscribe hit that like button, leave a comment, and turn on notifications.